Hello and congratulations on reaching this stage of the Creative Pathways recruitment process. My name is Sandeep Mahal and I'm the Director of Nottingham UNESCO City of Literature. I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about who we are and what we do and how we've adapted during the COVID-19 crisis and what you can expect from our great team. Now, Nottingham has made a remarkable contribution to literature and we are absolutely delighted to join an international network of UNESCO cities of literature. There are 39 of us in the world and we share the UNESCO designation with the likes of Baghdad, Barcelona, uh, Dublin, uh, Seattle and Durban. Our vision as a UNESCO city of literature is for a city where everyone is reading and writing their way to a better life. And our mission is to help build a better world with words. And we do this by using our UNESCO designation to enable and empower children and young people to discover their voice and the sheer creative joy of life-changing power of reading and writing. We promote Nottingham's radical literary heritage, our communities of writers, publishers, bookshops and libraries to a global audience. We commission new work and we develop new partnerships as a way of creating Nottingham as a place of creativity and celebration for reading and writing. And we broker opportunities for international collaboration and exchange for the benefit of Nottingham writers and creative communities. Crucially though, we want to build a literate city where every child leaves school as a confident reader and writer. Why is this important? Well, because we think literacy is going to make a massive difference and help address some of the city's biggest challenges. We believe that every child can write their own future and fulfill their potential, but without literacy, they will be left behind. The child who is left behind finds it harder and harder to catch up, and many of them never do. And so the result is frequent lifelong disadvantage. And we know that lifelong disadvantage won't shift unless children and young people enjoy reading and are therefore motivated to do more of it. And the challenge we have then is about bringing behavioural change and tailoring our approach to improving literacy to each local community. Now we're combating this challenge by supporting a number of literacy initiatives in the city, including literacy volunteers, Bookstop for Babies, and we're huge fans and supporters of the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is a free book gifting scheme where every month, every child under five years old living in Nottingham can get a free book delivered to their home. Just under 4,000 children now receive a monthly book and over 100,000 books have been delivered to them to date in some of the most impoverished areas in Nottingham. We're working with National Literacy Trust and their Literacy Champions Programme where volunteers in Nottingham champion the importance of improving literacy and the benefits it has to children. We also have our fantastic Young City of Literature Ambassadors who all play a brilliant role fostering and building a culture of reading for pleasure in their schools and communities. They get to explore what it means to be a UNESCO City of Literature. They review books, attend festivals and events. They interview writers and poets. And they are supported and trained by writer mentors and expert creatives to help them carry out their roles. Now, over the last year, we have run a number of creative writing programmes for young people, including My Voice, a creative writing competition for young people aged 10 to 25. They were invited to submit short stories, flash fiction, poetry, script, as well as digital content on the topic of social justice. The winners were decided at the end of January and we published them in a special anthology called Speak Up, which you can access for free on our website. For lots of the entrants to the competition, social justice understandably meant climate crisis and young people have the perfect hero in Greta Thunberg. Two of the anthology's other themes are violence against women and racism, which take on an added new significance in this crisis. Though much of the world has changed in the space of a few months, the ideas that bind together the Speak Up anthology are more relevant than ever. And I urge you to hear from young people in Nottingham who so clearly understand what is going on in the world today. 
During the UK lockdown, we embraced digital provision and innovated at a pace you probably wouldn't expect from a small team. We produced a series of virtual author events with authors Tiari Jones, and Patchett, Philippe Sands, Emily Pine, SJ Watson and others, and we broadcast those events to a global audience. We launched a new Letters of Solidarity campaign to further young people's experiences of writing for meaning and expression, encouraging a love of words and capturing a moment in history. Do check out and read their incredible letters on our website. We also collated a one-stop hub of literacy resources for younger readers. We launched a Life During Lockdown series from an array of Nottingham writers and illustrators who all share the, their perspectives on lockdown. And we continue to support and promote writers from across the world and will soon host our annual Cities of Literature meeting, a week-long series of virtual discussions and sharing of practices. So what can a Creative Pathways intern expect from a literary organisation uh, that is emerging from this crisis? You can expect to work uh, with a wonderfully dedicated and close-knit core team based in Snenton Market in Nottingham. The intern will be supporting our plans to celebrate our fifth anniversary as a UNESCO City of Literature and we'll be marking this significant milestone with a campaign inspired by the theme of hope. We will continue to support the development of Nottingham's uh, new city library. It's a national hub for children's learning and creativity and something we are all looking forward to opening in late 2021. We will also explore how our creative programmes and the work we do reflect our shifting world. The pandemic, the climate crisis and the Black Lives Matter movement have initiated calls and exposed space for new conversations and new structures to emerge, to rethink our roles and embed greater relevance and representation at the heart of everything we do. And so fundamentally, what we'll be doing is making sure that new kinds of stories and new voices and new approaches emerge. How do we create opportunities for neglected stories to be told? How might those stories be told? I look forward to hearing your ideas. Good luck with the next stage of the recruitment process and I look forward to seeing you at the interviews.